Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this uh, second stream of the day on our, our episodic uh, run through of Sim Airport's full release of the game uh, in career mode. Um, uh, for those of you that have been following the series, you'll know that we've uh, finally got the two extra gates built that I promised over the last couple of episodes, taking us up to five gates um, in our regional airport, if you like. Um, and we're starting to turn uh, a decent profit as well. So this episode, as uh, as I shared on the earlier stream, will be focused on sorting out our baggage system. And uh, let's get that out of the way for a moment. Sorting out our baggage system and... Uh, growing the business center so that we can start negotiating with airlines and just start playing the game here. So when we left, it was just coming up on 7 a.m. as it is now. Uh, we've got plenty of cash, 137,000, um, and our daily profits are, are not looking too bad. We are, yesterday we made a profit of 38,000, and we had an awful lot of expenses in the day as well, so we're not doing too badly there. Today, we've already made a profit of 47,000, so we're, we're doing fine money is rolling in um just uh quick to say uh, if you are watching on uh, on twitch on the live stream then do feel free to uh send me a message say hello ask any questions add any commentary um and thank you for joining me uh, if you're watching on demand either via twitch or youtube again thank you very much for viewing uh do feel free to comment like subscribe dislike whatever you want um i'm keen to get as much input as possible as i'm new to this so uh I want to make sure the content I'm producing is uh, what you guys want to see. So, quick overview, then quick recap. We've we've now got our our five main players in their offices. Um, by players, I mean obviously members of the board, if you like. Um, so we can start pushing on with research as and when we need to. Uh, we've also uh, got ticketing security working really smoothly now, although it's a bit untidy. So we'll fix that as we go through expanding the airport and putting in baggage. Um, retail wise, cafe's doing very nicely. Uh, we've got the little arcade here. To be honest, if anything, that could do with being a bit bigger because it's constantly in use. Um, oh, a bit of rubbish there. Trash bag. Oh, this is just alright. The janitor's on it. No, he's not. He's just left it there. Ah, helpful. Really helpful. Um, we've, um, we've got toilet facilities up here and here and we've got the shared toilet facilities between uh, ticketing and baggage claim we'll be sorting that out a bit um, so the plan really the next stage is, is to expand here um, and create our pickup area or our new pickup area uh, because it's all rather tight to get it here um, and then we'll use uh, we'll use that area for baggage claim as well which we'll also move down here. We'll actually put in a proper baggage system so that we didn't have to keep relying on our builders to do the shunting of baggage to and from the gates. Uh, I also want to put in the second floor of the office block uh, and that will house offices and um, facilities for, uh, the use by, for use by the airlines. And I'd like to try, and, and I'm not sure if I can do this, but build a sort of a, a, a bridge, if you like, or a, I don't know, a walkway that joins that to the second floor of the main building. And we're going to look to move to the departures lounge and retail to that second floor. So the ground floor will only have ticketing, security, pickup and baggage. Um, so it basically we'll be able to completely alter this layout um, to make it much more... Uh, passenger friendly, should we say. It's a bit congested at the moment. So, uh, first things first, I need to, and I don't know what, I was going to look up how to rotate uh, the main screen, wasn't it, whilst we were whilst we were offline, but I did not. So, um, we'll, we'll have to figure out how we're going to do this uh, without... Oh, hello. What have I done there? Oh, that's floor change. Let's have a quick look, see if we can bring up the settings menu and have a look at the, have a look at the keys. Uh, hotkey bindings. Uh, can, can, that's all them. Um, padding. Uh, zooming, in speed, rotate object. Uh, hide your oh, 
can't actually find a um, a button to rotate the uh, the screen, and I was sure there was one. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, well, we'll have to uh, see what we've got here. Zoom and pan. No. Okay. We'll ha we'll have to find a way of working around this ATC position then. I'm sure we can. Um, I'm sure it's doable. Uh, so um, we need to do the expansion in such a way that security is not an issue. And I think the best way to do that is to join this fence line here to the building. Uh, in fact, the building itself is actually forming a security barrier technically, isn't it? It's right up to the edge of the map. So in the same way the fence is there, this fence should no longer be necessary. So we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens if we take out this little bit of fence here. If the airport remains secure, then we can just delete all of this fencing. Um, and it, it's not going to be a, not going to be a problem for us. Um, and I think it should be fine. I'll just bring up the overlay so we can see if this becomes unsecured. No, it's it's stayed secure. Excellent. So let's clear out all of this uh, fencing here uh, there you go guys crack on and then we'll build our uh, terminal expansion so I'm very good. Right, so we want construction uh, foundations. Uh, okay, I think that's about right, isn't it? So yeah, so we'll definitely, definitely want at least that much there, and then we'll take it out a bit further uh, in this section for the baggage claim. So I don't want it to feel too cramped. In fact, I want to join that up, really. Like that. Uh, and then, where are we? Let's say that's going to be the pickup. And this will all be baggage in the centre here. So, I don't want to block that window. Let's, um, let's do something like that. Yeah, that'll be okay. Let's run time on a bit, get that built. Um, and then this... Uh, you could do with expanding that as well, really, and put these two, two decent-sized toilets in here. Let's do that. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly. All ah, right, so that's where the ATC becomes a problem there. So that, that'll be enough space, though. So that, that'll work. Cannot for the life of me remember what you have to press to rotate the screen. It's really frustrating. Um, I don't want to go and press a button that will um, cause a problem, is it? No, it's not that. No. Let's zoom. That's the floor levels. Yeah, no, I'm not going to find it, I don't think. Never mind. All good. Right. Okay. It's just a bit tricky to see around that, but as I said before, I can't really do much about the positioning of that now. Um, I don't think I can build a second. I might be able to build a second one to knock that one down, actually. Must be placed in a secure... Oh! <laughs> Must be placed in a secure area. Well, that's odd, because this is absolutely not a secure area. But it looks like we can place another one. So, let's do that. Let's do it in a secure area. I know I'm not going to expand into this area any further, because I'm not going to have any more gates going this way on this... Um, 
on this particular map. So we'll build that. It might seem like a bit of a waste of money, but we'll knock this one down as soon as that one's built. And that'll just make this a little bit easier. So let's prioritize that build, make it urgent. Um, and hopefully that will uh, sort that out. Mm, I'm just, uh, just going to knock the music down a notch because it feels a little bit loud. There we go. Um, come on boys, get this done. stuff right let's get rid of this dismantle and again we'll make that urgent that will um, mean that we can't accidentally do something we don't want to then I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this footprint but um, I do not want to accidentally delete my ATC without <laughs> without realizing it would be an absolute disaster. Right. So, come along. Put it down. It's only one guy working. Oh, there we are. Oh, spare material. Bonus. I'm sure they'll clear that up in due time. Right. Whilst we're waiting for that to finish, we can knock that wall down. Knock that wall down. Oh. Oh. That all down, I think. That. That, that. Oh. That's not gone well. Apparently we have a problem. We have not we've not got a secure area anymore because I've marked that for right. Cancel that. That's now secure again, is it not? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Now, I'm going to have to look at the flight schedule and see what damage that's done. One passenger left to board this plane. Come on, dude, where are you? At the moment, it's not a disaster, but... Where is this guy? Why oh, no not passengers? There he is. Oh Jesus, what are you doing all the way back there? It's too off at 1740. It's going to be tight this. You'd be late. You've, you've missed your flight, dude. <coughs> oh man. That is not good news. We might just have lost the daily bonus. What's going on with this flight? Gate two. Oh, they're getting on. Okay. So it's just that one flight. So annoying. I didn't actually... They hadn't even knocked the wall down. So technically at that point, the, the airport was still secure. That's really annoying. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not going to tell us yet if we've one missed departure. Oh, I'm not. I can't remember the criteria as to whether that's going to be a problem or not. Let's have a look. At least one flight. At least one packs. Packs of missed flight is zero. No, packs of missed flight is going to be one. So that could mean our daily bonus gets reset to zero. Do you know what? If that happens. Just gonna have to live with it. It's my own stupid fault. Just not um not not a good situation to be in. Right, let's sort this wall area out, shall we? Um see, it's clear. That, that, that. We can now bring this down to here. Foundation. Oh, 
Is that what's causing the problem? Is it the... No, I'm not knocking the wall down yet, am I? So... That should be fine. Right, let's do that. Let's build a wall. So this is going to then effectively be our toilet zone, if you'd like. They'll look a lot bigger and prettier than the current ones. I think it's one of those things, it's pretty important to have decent toilet facilities for those that have just come off of a flight. Um, because if they get all the way through to pick up without having had the opportunity and they're waiting around for a while, don't go down too well. Come on, build this little bit of wall here. Good. Right, let's get rid of this then and this. And then we'll build a new wall area. Why is, why is that not working? Because I'm on dismantle. That's because that's what's not working. Right, build the wall. I'll put a jab to one of these there. Oh dear. Let's count that up. Two, three, four, five, six, nine. So that would be four, two, three, four, gap, three, four. Yeah, we need to do that. There we are. Two decent sized toilets coming up. Right, and then we need doors. Doors are going to be there and there. The floor. Let's find the toilet floor, that's the one. And then we'll do the carpet for this. We're here. Right. Now, utilities. Baggage carousel. Um, and we want baggage carousel from below. Oh, Christ, we've only got one for one there. Uh, mind you, we've only ever got one plan on any plane land at a time, haven't we? Well, I suppose we could do two, couldn't we? To one, yeah, I think two will fit. Definitely one there. Oh, insufficient funds, okay. Not sure, I thought that might be a, it doesn't fit, but it's, it's just money. And that will resolve itself in due course. So we're making some progress already this evening, which is good. Um, as I said earlier, I'm um, I'm okay running this stream a little longer than uh, the usual hour this evening to try and uh, make sure we get everything done we want done. Um, I might even, if need be, borrow a little bit of money just to speed things along because we're not we're not in a bad place financially. Right, let's see if we've got that perfect ops bonus. No, we didn't, so we reset to zero, which means tomorrow we're going to be down to just $200 per flight. So instead of $58,000, we are going to get, what's that, $5,800, uh, and then it'll build back up a couple of hundred dollars a day, like $100 per day, per plane per day. So, it's a shame, but, uh, you know, uh, Mistakes happen. We will learn from that, or I will learn from that. Uh, right. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will take out a little loan. Uh, finance hub, because we're in a decent place. We're we're quite popular, so we can borrow six hundred and fifty grand at less than two percent. Apparently, let's have. Um, We don't need half a million. Let's see what, can, what rate we can get for 300,000. 0.93%. So that is, and that'll be daily charge. So that is only going to be about three grand a day charge. 
yeah, 2,794. That's absolutely fine. And we'll be paying off pretty sharpish, so I'm okay with that. That should be enough, I think, to sort out the baggage system in this whole area here. So let's uh, let's get the toilets done first. Uh, ladies on the right, gents on the left this time around, I think we'll do. Um, build toilet stall. So we take that. Give them plenty of uh, plenty of facilities. Sinks. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll give them um, some dryers along there as well. Let's mirror that with the gents. Um, toilets. Rotate. Do some urinals for the joints as well. More uh, dryer, it's hand dryers. Oh, we've got hand. I'm sure we have dryers. Do we not have dryers? I thought we had dryers. We do not. Okay. Is that right? That, that does not feel right. Comfort. Toilet stalls, urinals. No, we don't have dry Oh well, we can have more, um, we can have a couple more sinks in each one then. Can't believe I didn't realise that. And then we can put in Decorative trees, everyone's favourite, my favourite. Uh, oh, I'm going to put one right by the door there, and we'll put in a couple of bins. And information is always important, except and you can't fit it in. It's going to just have to go in like that. It'll give them something. And, um, put it along here as well. And we'll have one big flight info display. No, we won't. We'll have little ones. Let's go to about there. Right, put in the other baggage thing. Don't guess. If you guess, you get it wrong. Package carousel flow from below. So now, is that from below? Yeah. That's from above. One level above. That's the underground conveyor belt. Yeah. Okay. So which way? I don't get which way round. Oh, okay. Oh man, I did that one the wrong way round, really. No, that's okay. We can figure it out. Let's do that then. Right, and then let's get the information home sorted. Yeah. Yeah. There. And uh, back to decor. Decorative trees. One other side of what will be our doorway. One up in that corner, I think. One down in this corner. One over here. Should be absolutely fine. Then we're going to take this wall down here. Like this. And I'm going to sort this... Um, mess out this queue here so let's uh, pause it queue shrink queue down to there and expand
don't really want it to be like that, but. No, better. No, it's really not. It's not good enough. Come on. Take it back to there and expand it. So what you're complaining about, but it's not anymore. I mean, it's not great, but nothing's perfect. It's better than it was. Right, let's now. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. I think until the last flight of the day's arrived before I mess around with the pickup and drop-off zone, because you can definitely only have one of each. Um, and. Yeah, if I mess with it, then we're going to have to, oh, going to, have to widen this building. That is too small as a pickup zone. Um, it'll just be a disaster. Let's um, let's do that. So, foundation. Should have done that in the first place. I don't know what I was thinking about. I'm just doing some silly things. Once that's done, they were oh right okay. So in those toilets, uh, female restroom. They're not going to use them unless you tell them it's a toilet. You think it was obvious, but no. Apparently it's not. Don't know why it's gone so quite so crazy with the text there. It's really quite naff. Oh well. Was I don't like turning the zone overlays off because when I do that, I forget to zone things. Um, yeah, you need to part of a baggage zone, I know, and you require a hub and, and all the other shinizzle. And we're going to have to reconfigure this because before we can connect baggage up as well because I have absolutely no room behind there um, to fit ticketing, but. It's not a bad thing to fit a conveyor belt, sorry. It's not a bad thing because we can put in an extra ticketing desk once we're at it and we'll put in an extra security check desk as well. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll make the whole thing bigger. That does mean messing with the fence line again, but who cares? I think we might go out to about there. Do a proper job. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be the way of it. Just as well we did borrow some money. Because now I'm going crazy. Right, fence line first. It's going to go... Isn't it? That's the one. God, that was a lot of cash. can't really move pick up and baggage until this bit's done because um, they'll be running backward and forward like nutters. I 
Okay, great job there, chap. Do you know what? I think that expansion we've just done is almost as big as uh, the entirety of the first terminal. When we um, started the first episode, it's definitely a damn sight wider. guys so you can take down that annoying vent slide now well, um, I leave it for now not much point messing around with it there's nothing, nothing fundamentally wrong with it and I think what we'll do with the ticketing is what will we do with the ticketing? Put it along the back wall. Two, four, six, eight. I only fit four of them there. Um, we could create a little island, you know. Could do two. Leave a, a gap for the conveyor. A uh, conveyor in the conveyor. Conveyor in the middle. And, uh, sort of two desks there, one along the bottom, two desks up, or we could do a maybe three along the top and then one there, give us room to expand down that way. I'll have a think. Right, that's the floor going in there. Let's do this. Um, Carpet before I forget. That one and then the red goes in here. Um, and then the wall is going to go like that. Why can't I do that? Oh, because I've said I put carpet there, that's why. Let's cancel that then. Leave a gap three wide at the top. Two up there, two wide will be enough. Two wide's fine. Yeah, then we'll have the ID check stand sort of down here. So have a nice open area for the big long snake in a horrible queue. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. And we'll put in a we'll actually put in a VIP queue this time, which will go sort of there, I think. Um we'll just have the one check stand for VIPs and they can walk like, straight down the side out of the way. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll do one VIP checking disc as well. There is a plan. Oh. Wrong carpet. Oh man, what a noob, that's got to change, can't have that, got right amateurs, right, oh. <laughs> I know what else I need here, security desk things. I need to do that now, otherwise I'm going to forget. And if I forget that, we've got a problem. This is going to be dismantled. And we'll, 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 we'll go there. And security gate. Exit. That's the one, one there, one there. That could have been a disaster. I was literally about to put doors in there and that would have made the whole airport insecure, unsecured again. And we would have had another disastrous day. Why are you, why are you upset now? Oh, son, yeah, of course it is. I've put the door in. Dear me, door.
large sliding door. Mm, doesn't quite line up, does it? I'm going to have to move that again, aren't I? Let's do that. Cancel you. Decorative tree. There and there. And there. Right, and then the sound. I can't sound it yet. Jeez. I keep trying to get ahead of myself with this sounding malarkey. It's really stupid. Right, clear this. Um, now's a good time to do this because it's the middle of the night. So get rid of that cue. Fact, it's the only really good time to do this. Oh man, I have to literally follow the snake back. Um, ticketing desks, dismantle, dismantle, go, go, go. all of these sideways here aren't we? Dismantle that. Construct floor. Don't know what I'm going to wait to do the floor. They might not be happy with it but I don't know if I'll have enough time otherwise. Right let's run time on at a middling pace. So the minute these desks are down we need to start repositioning them. is going to run behind that. That's enough space. Two, three. Rotate this. Is that okay there? It says it is. Okay. One, two, three, four then. No, cancel that. I need to set that one back from there because that's going to be the first class one. I don't like that though. That'll have to be the way we do it, I think. I might just clear that bit of wall there. Functional ticketing, yeah, I know that. Right, let's extend ticketing zone. Right, we need to clear that and finish that wall off. ID stands. Check IDs, we've got four of in stock. What what the hell? Oh wrong button. One, two, three, four. Leave a gap. Oh no, 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 no. Cancel. What did I say I was gonna do? I don't pay attention to myself. I need to be down here. Fifth one for the posh people. Um, and then we need to clear that wall as well. I want to dismantle that, 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 and that. Uh, cues. Clear this back. To tidy this up in a bit. Let's just get these queues sorted. So we're gonna have we have one generic queue for the 
for them for the purposes of them putting a separate ticketing desk here and I'm going to put in a separate ticketing desk down here and create a little dog leg for it for first class we'll have their own private let's do that like that that'll be perfect um, ticket and then yeah because we can have a downward belt thing here and it'll just be it'll be tidier um it will make sense i promise <laughs> if you believe that um oh god these people have arrived where have these people arrived bloody hell um and why is this security not finished? Because security zone needs to extend at least to here. Um, queuing systems. Pause and put in the queuing system, right? So. Leave a bit of a gap there for putting some pretty stuff in. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the main key. Let's do it like let's do it like that. So it'll be visible. If we start getting queuing coming all the way back here, we know we've got a problem. Uh, and as for first class, your queue will just snake around. The nice posh plants. There's your own little entrance there. Right, these guys will do the same thing. We'll have one generic queue for. Plebs with a gap. No, I used to have a gap along the top, don't I? But my lips. Oh dear. There you go, and then me. My bips can have their own little queue. There. Right. I always try to leave my gap. Just there. That's fine. So, info. Big old bugger going in there. That's okay. They can get around those. And then the flowers, decor, decorative tree. Um, God, that's ugly at the moment. But it won't be. That might be enough there. One down there as well. See what happens when we sort the floor out. Floor, 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 floor. Um, construction floor. Red carpet. Red carpet. And the blue carpet there. Right, prioritise this. Urgent scanners, damn scanners, idiot. Right, and I've got how many have I got? Four in stock, and I want five. 
rotate. Can't go tight up against that. Okay, it's gonna have to be one down then, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, perfect. I think the four body scanners might be enough. Let's see if I can fit another one in though, just in case. I can, would you look at that? Perfect. Okay, right, these now become urgent as well. And urgent. And I've put in one extra one of those. One, so I need one extra normal staff. Um, and I need one, two, three extra security staff. If I've done my maths right. Right, play on. See what we get on this morning. Come on, deliver those stands. Okay, security should be legal now. Why is security not up? Why is that not? Oh, at least, okay, we need at least one staff member at each phase. We'll live. Let's start, there we go. Whew. Panic over. Right, that's looking far more efficient. Okay, I'm liking this, we're winning, apart from the fact we're poor, but on that, winning. Okay. Magic. There's the baggage. See this poor lad, lad, lad dealing with the baggage. Security is running smoothly. We should have even happier passengers. Oh, hang on a minute. No, we're not, and I know why. Right, slow this down. You've always got to assign your queue. <laughs> assign. Oh, this queue is um, coach only, by the way. Close. Assign to that one. Close. Assign to that one. Here, no coach assigned. Okay, so that's a first class only. Take it in dusk. This is coach only. Good. Alright, this queue here. Assigned to this one, no coach. This one. Assign. No first or fight crew. Assign. Close. Assign. Oh, let me stand. Assign. Seriously? Seriously? My god. Yeah, I think we're alright now. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Had a funny noise then, I don't know what it was. 
I think it might be the music, to be fair. So, put some stuff through me. What is that? Ran a bit of fence for no reason. That's going. Okay, right. How are we getting on flights through there then? Oh, okay, fine. Right. So, they went okay, so I'm happy. It looks like this chap's. Gonna be alright as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. I think when we do the upstairs expansion, we will put in the uh, moving walkways. Because, bear in mind, when our packs have gone through to all this ticketing and security here, we're gonna open this area up, so this will be the end of security, and that'll be where the. Um... God, what's the word I'm looking for? Escalators, stairs, whatever to get you up to, to the next floor will be. Um, and then from there, I think we will, in fact, we'll point them in, put them through a retail zone, and I think by the time they've come out of that, they're going to need to get on and get to the gates, so we'll put some walkways in to get them, some mobile walkways in to get them to either end. But for now, um, we're about ready to sort baggage, I think. So, let's go down the level. Ooh! can't really see much down there can we okay let's go up a bit first so I'm gonna need to put in the um, the baggage conveyors hoist conveyor conveyors it's all in utilities isn't it for baggage conveyor belt there we go so you're gonna go to there and you're gonna have to have a trans conveyor down transition Ooh. You know what? It's actually going to have to be a conveyor up transition, I think. Up transition. Conveyor network object which allows conveyor systems to transition between two floors. Alright. So I need to go down. It needs to be lined up about there. Page down. That's where it needs to go. But it needs um ooh. Is that that transition? Yeah it is. Yeah, it's not an up I need though, is it? It's a down. Blocked by nearby fence or wall. Oh bloody hell. I'm going to have to build a little extension for it, I think. Yeah, conveyor down transition. That's the one. I'm surprised it comes with its own um, foundation system. <laughs> I won't go there. Oh, so that one will go there, but look at the mess it's going to make. And my queuing system. Or is that structure all going underground? Ooh. I'm going to build that one. Yeah, the the structure's going underground. So that's the downward transition. And it's the wall that's causing the problem here. Conveyor port. Fence or wall. So that will fit there. I just need to build a wall around it, don't I? So we'll do that now. So it's three wide. And we need to go through four up, don't we? Whoa. 
I might just take the belt the other way, you know, I might do it over here. I think it'll feel tidier. Oh, I've got a mess with that though, haven't I? God damn it. Oh well, never mind. Fence. <laughs> Fence. One, two, three. All over the place. Let's go a couple extra to be on the safe side. Conveyor. Let's do transition. Trans. Trans. Down. Rotate. That's where it's going to go then. So the wall's got to go four high. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four across. Let's let it sort itself out with this first. Come on, boys. Can't start this little outline for the moment here until we've um, got this fence line up. I'm not going to have another security issue. I refuse. Found it. Right, foundation. Two, three, four high. One, two, three, four. Uh -oh. There you go. That's where it's going. All right, belt. How does that not convey? Because it's in his conveyor. Of course it's in his conveyor. Right, and this should join up there. This whole thing here is simply so I can get rid of this bit of wall. I don't actually need all of it, but I'm better safe than not to do it three times over, so um floors, carpet. Come on. And carpet. And clear that. Wait to put down the carpet again. Utilities, conveyor belt, down transition, rotates. There we go. And then we can put that in. Put the belt in there. And then we will have both of them linked up coming out down below. And they're both coming out kind of the wrong way, but do you know what? Who gives a fly? just have to find a way of uh, linking them up so one thing we do want to do I don't want to do this whole business of um, shuttling baggage back and forth with baggage carts again so you can get a um, uh, an upgrade I'm sure you can in research to do with baggage um, baggage hub booster that's not it Oh no, maybe it's fuel I'm thinking of. I was thinking there was a way of getting the baggage um, routed directly to each gate, but I don't think you can. I think it has to go out to a, um, a baggage depot um, and then it gets routed via baggage carts, which is fine. It's, that's not the end of the world. Pardon the banging of the microphone there. Right, so we've got we've got 106,000 here. 
Um, those bits are finished. So what I need to do now is create a foundation underground that brings us all the way down to these guys here, which have their ports down here. So it's got a long, thin foundation. So it's just, just literally enough to get a belt through. Um, and we'll have to have, <coughs> here's gate three. In this area, we're gonna have to have the sorting system. So what I'm gonna do, because we've reached an hour, is I'm gonna set the foundations going for that and let them start building. Um, and uh, grab a, make a quick cup of tea. I would suggest you all do the same. Um, uh, and then we'll go for them when we come back. So let's have a look, quick look at um, sorting. Where's the baggage hub? There it is. So we're gonna, we should only need one of them. That is gonna let us plonk that in and build its own foundations, which is great news. Uh, and then we can just do the extensions off of it. So we've got two incoming from up there, but they'll go to one. We only need one exiting to go down to the baggage carousels. Um, although we can, well, we can put two in actually, down to the baggage carousels. And one of the two way bells going to um, <coughs> the airfield. Actually, we want two going to the airfield, so we're going to rotate it. We're going to do it like that. That's going to be the best way of doing it. I think. Yeah. In fact, I'll go better than I think, I'm sure. Right, so we'll leave that running. Um, I'll put you on the top level. We'll go into uh, double time. And uh, I will uh, I will see you shortly. I'll put that up for you so you can see how schedules are going. Right, uh, see you all in a couple of minutes.
Okay, and we're back. Right, so we're moving into night time now. I'm going to take this opportunity to move to pick up baggage zones. Um, the last flights will be in shortly. Once they're in, we'll move to zones. Um, because there's no point in not doing it. Uh, and then we're ready to join up the baggage system. Uh, got a couple of hours to go, so we'll draw out the foundations to join this lot up. So, foundations. We're going to need to come out. Uh, where are we? Like that. There, but never mind. And we'll run single width down to there. It's uh, a double out there. Doesn't need to be there. We'll take that width, I think. Too wide? Yeah, that's. No, it looks like we're going too wide anyway for money's sake. Down to there. And we can clear those walls out. Clear that out. Nearly joined up. Clear that out. We'll get back up for now. Let them finish that off. So we've got to build those foundations to run the belt through that uh, through the system, basically. Um, right. So last flights have arrived. Once these these guys have all been cleared out, shouldn't be too much longer. Then we can move these zones back to yesterday. That's gone. That's boarded. They're all done. Just wait for these guys to be picked up. Really, some of you were not ready. Okay, well we can move baggage claim. So zero that out. And baggage claim add in here and here. Okay, and then let that run. They're all gone, so pick up zone. None for this, and this, and then pick up here. Okay, let's play that forward. So, why is this? So they're complaining, but the hub itself isn't. So, yeah, so it'll still work um, as a manual baggage zone until we've linked everything up. So, that, that's okay. And now that we've separated this, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that one big drop-off zone. I think in a bit, so I'll leave those doors in. We'll be removing. Actually, no, I won't. I will close that door up. We'll put in two bigger restrooms here. Open this up, like we said, to have the access to the upper floor. Uh, but for now, we will. Uh, Oh, do you know what we didn't do? Sort out our staff schedules for overnight now that these um, have all been put in. So we'd be spending too much money on, on staff otherwise. So normal staff, daytime, everything manned. 
night time. Turn these buggers off. Excellent, and then security. Daytime. Ooh. Daytime, everything manned. Night time, turn these off. I think it's okay to turn reception off as well, but I'm not going to take the chance just in case I'm wrong. Right, okay. How are we doing under here? We're getting there. We can clear out that. We can clear out that. Uh, that's all solid now, so we can clear that. I'll open that up as well, just to give them a bit of movement, movement room. And open that out. This port here, I'm going to change to um, uh, consumer. Port is going to be producer. That's a consumer, uh, and those are both going to be. That's a producer, and I want that to be a producer as well. Don't really care about that one at the moment. I'm not going to be using it. So we've got a consumer for everything coming in from check-in. A producer to so take stuff out of the baggage hub consumer to bring stuff back in from the baggage hub and two producers to kick those bags down to our two um, baggage carousels down here and which means oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to widen that just a bit so I can get one line in to that and another line in to that just need to sort that corner out but we're not gonna be able to do it until we've got some monies which is gonna take a little bit of time we will get a bonus but it's only 8,700 because of our little uh, I say our little problem my little problem can't believe I did that such a silly thing to do it's the one thing about this game if you drop if you, if you mess your zones up and you end up with an unpopular zone, you just um, you're just asking for trouble. And it only took—I mean, it's one passenger that caused us that problem. One passenger didn't quite make the flight, um, and it was by a matter of minutes. Um, but live and learn. Well, I have to say, our, our airline satisfaction has shot up uh, all of a sudden. So. Does that mean, oh yeah, Aerotime now have generated another flight for us. Pacific haven't. Lernyville still have some flights for us, but I bet they're all beach. Yeah, they're all beaches. Um, so they really did love us though. Um, so the fact we're at 72 with them, um, 74 with Aerotime and 61 with Pacific tells me that I can probably get away with uh, upping our prices again once this baggage system's complete and that'll help massively right we're back in credit happy days let's see if we can get this baggage system finished off uh, where are we so we need to extend this foundation just by a couple more squares that should do it in fact that will do it then we can start running the belts so utilities conveyor uh, let's go all the way down to that input as is that and then good we can clear that that and that and those two Conveyor again. Conveyor, conveyor, conveyor. There it is. Oh, 
Get rid of that too. Yeah, so this will come round. Here. Valid placement. Ooh. Why is that an invalid placement? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to extend that wall up, aren't I? God damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just join it all up there. segments like this. I don't want to connect them. Oh man. There needs to be a gap. Okay, so that foundation's gonna have to come all the way down there. Good God. Well, all the way to there anyway. <laughs> I forgot about that. You can't have two belts effectively touching one another because it, it tries to join them. You have to leave a gap. Again, it's all a learning curve. Right, let's figure out how we're clearing this. So, they're going. up right now on the airfield oh we're gonna need um, what is it we need utilities we need a baggage depot um, and we need a I don't know what's it called it's not I don't think it's in this menu it's basically a um, Vehicle depot, so it might even be called a vehicle depot. Let's have a look. Roads, no. Tools. I'm sure there's some sort of vehicle depot. Objects, structures, uh, a small hangar. Just one vehicle spot, that's one, or a medium hangar for up to three vehicles. I kind of want to put a medium hanger in because um, we're going to need to do fuel supply soon as well. So we might as well build something that's up to the job. Having said that, cannot fit it in that width. Oh no, it's just insufficient funds actually. I will be able to fit it in that width. Magic. Right, we're just going to wait for some monies. These things are showing us oh ready but please tell me the bags are still being dropped off by the oh, yeah, they are still being dropped off by the by the guys. The carousel is showing us being happy but it's it's actually the little men with the trucks that are still doing the drop offs. The segregated pickup and drop offs working nicely. Which is good. You see how many people are uh, well, those people are why are they doing that? How very strange. A load of people just came through here, went all the way through there, came all the way back again. And I have no idea why. Let's keep an eye on that. It's all the staff going home. Do we have a bonus? Yes, we did. 11.6. That's better. Right. Let's see what happens with his first couple of flight arrivals. Got some decent numbers on those first couple of flights as well. Got 
towards the first few customers. I don't know what, it could be a seating thing. Probably is. Hmm. Should I film the pickup so many seats? Might be an idea. And put a couple of vending machines in as well. It's going to need to be bigger, isn't it? Which is okay. Right. There should be quite a few people come off this flight. So they've all come around and waited in here. That's fine. They're waiting for bags. A couple did go through. Yeah, they got and sat down. But Andrew, they could be waiting for connecting flights. No, they just wanted to sit down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to need to put some seating in there at some point. Right, money-wise, we can afford our, our depot now. Uh, what was it? This objects. Structures, wasn't it? Medium hangar. Rotate. Put it fairly central. Um, if I put it more there, so we need the baggage depot as well. Utilities, uh, baggage, baggage depot. There it is. Blue is outbound only. Two hubs with attached carousels. Endpoint is. Pink is inbound from hub, we're dictating this, so pink oh, requires an adjacent roadway or taxiway, insufficient runs, marvellous. Trouble is I can't actually see which end is pink and which end is blue. And you can guarantee whichever way I drop it will be the wrong blooming way round. We're going to have to wait. Order monies. So that is pretty much parallel with, yeah, if it goes tight to that building, we'll be alright. How much was it? It's only two and a half thousand. Why is that not wanting to. Oh, all right, okay, there we go. Right, can I see which end is pink and which end is blue? No. How annoying. I would imagine, oh man, I don't know. I think that's going to be the, the end that's going to the aircraft. No, that's going to be what we're loading on from the aircraft, I think, because that looks like where you put on where my cursor is, um, which would then go to, do you know what? There is absolutely no point in me trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing, is there? If I do it that way round, Oh, I don't know. Oh. If I do it like that, though, I can't really get it wrong. He says. Right. Okay, so this is incoming, and that's outgoing. That's okay. They are really, literally, the wrong way around, but it's not a problem. I can fix that. So this outgoing one here has got to come into here. And this one here has got to go into there. That's okay. Right. So we've got to maintain that width all the way. More foundations. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This baggage malarkey is expensive. So we're 17,000 here. It's going to cost about 100 grand to link this up. I hope these airlines appreciate the efforts we're going to here to sort them out of baggage system. I very much doubt they do. And then in here we will we will put in a vehicle. Right. Um, gates. So we've got S1, S2, S3, S4. I did not rename that gate. Let's do that now. 
S5, excellent. I'm wondering whether I should just chuck in a couple of um, aircraft I've got from R2 suppliers now. I think I should. More, more, more flights is more money. So Aerotime are offering us an evening flight now. In a, oh, two evening flights. In a CRQ, 75 passengers and a 707. Which is up to 180, but we'll have both of those. Oh no, we can't have the large. <laughs> we'll have the small. Um, let's stick that in. Thank you, Aero Time. Uh, right, and this we said this would go in the equivalent gap between that gate, yeah, and that gate. God, that's tight. So it's really there we want it, isn't it? Is it there? That's the space, so we just need to go. One, two, three, gap. Ooh, I don't know actually. We just want to go in the equivalent there, don't we? So that's, that's comfortable. That's our baseline for this gate. Right, uh, Pacific aren't offering us anything else at the moment. Lernieville are offering us shed loads of these. Let's fill up the night first, so we'll take one more night flight. We'll take one afternoon flight to just get the pattern right. 10, 20, 30, gap. Well, why is that parallel with that? That should not be. It should be one back, shouldn't it? Is it because I can't count? Ten. Okay. Yeah, it's because I can't count. I don't know actually. What's. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then this one's going to go there. Yep. And I'll definitely get at least two more afternoons in with them. good things about these little flights is it's not a lot of passengers so it's not really putting a lot of pressure on anything. Is that the right position again? Yeah. Yeah. And then we could do, we could definitely do two morning flights. I don't want to take them all yet just in case. There we go. can't quite fit another one in in the morning. That's okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Still seven flights on the gate, so we've got seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Seven on everything apart from gate three, which has got eight on it. So that's good. That's 28, 36 flights now, a day. I like that. And they should all kick in from from midnight. Wonderful. Right. Just have to make sure we don't mess up. Oh gosh. And signing obviously signing up those flights has given us some um, some monies. So let's get down here and see if we can't get this foundation sorted. Oh halfway. <laughs> So it's better than nothing. It'd be nice if there was a better way of doing this, but I just I don't think there is. I'm wondering if you could actually I could do it narrow and I've done a two-way belt that then splits, but I think you'd need another hub to split them back out. In fact, I'm sure you would. Never mind. We've, we've got what we've got now. Um, how are we doing on flight schedule for the day? Oh, okay. 
not that one. This one. We haven't got anything running for gate 5, which I didn't think we would have. But everything we do have is running really well. All departing nice and early. Good, good, yeah, an hour or so in hand on each one. That was the tightest one, and that was just, well, 50 minutes spare. It's good stuff. This we like a lot. And um, we've some days have passed um, since we last looked at our perfect tops as well. So that's getting back up. It's 17,400 yesterday, so it should be pushing on for 20,000 tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're getting back up there. We are getting back up there, despite the, uh, the minor balls up. Airport value. Oh, wow, that's pushed on as well. So that's gone up to 980,000. Obviously, we've got some issues here. We have some debt. Probably should be looking to pay some of that down. Um, yeah, that's not helping. We'll, um, we'll take a look at that. In fact... No, let's finish the baggage system off first. Then pay the debt off. So, kind of moving into the last half hour of this stream now. You obviously need to let the cash get up a little bit, so I will um, go make another cup of tea because I'm thirsty, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes.
Okay, and we're back. Um, doesn't look like anything's gone wrong. Although we're not exactly rolling in the money. Um, but we will, I'm sure, resolve that shortly. I'm tempted to look at um, extending the loan just to get this done, but uh, I'm not sure where that would leave us. Our credit ratings probably, yeah, our credit ratings gone through the floor. We will not get 0.93% until we pay this back. And we don't have a credit report yet because we need to research credit reporting. So we can't really see what the factors are that are affecting us, but I imagine it's the fact that the airport has a negative value and we have a big outstanding loan. Um, but it's all good. We will get there. Let's uh, have a look here. So don't need to go much further to join this up now. Oh, so close. Go on, jump up a bit. Give me 54,500. So here we go. And we just need to tidy that corner up. Oh, there we go. We, we're there. We can clear that. And we can clear that. We do need, actually, to extend that a little bit as well. So we don't have the old uh, problem we had at the other end. That should be enough. No, it's going to need to be one more. There we go. Let's just take it to there. So that, because this belt's got to come out and dog leg up. Um, without while still leaving a gap we have to fiddle around with it a bit it will make sense in a second right clear that out and clear oh no not that not that clear that one and that one and that one and that one There we go. Right now, conveyors. I mean, utilities, conveyors. So this goes like this. This one goes like this. That one's the incoming. And this one's outgoing. If I've got it right, then once those guys are finished building, must assign to an aircraft gate, requires at least one functional hangar. So, yeah, once they're linked up, we can assign all of the gates to it and hopefully we'll start to see some baggage rolling. Oh, we need to buy the baggage cart as well. That's a, that's a minor detail. What are you doing, boys? I forget that their numbers are depleted during the day because at the moment they're all, um, well, three of them are looking at least to do baggage handling, which they'll no longer have to do in a few minutes' time. Okay, all linked up. Let's get the baggage car. Sign. Baggage cart. Done. And then assign to that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Close. From 
here on in. I see bags rolling along the belts. There we go, we have bags going out to the terminal, out to the um, baggage depot. And we should see our baggage car coming out very soon. There we go. Off he goes. Transfer and bags. We might need two. Given that, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assign a second one. What's the third type of vehicle we can get there? I didn't see what that was. Apron bus. Oh, that's for remote um, stuff. I think what might happen is this medium, this medium hanger might just end up being for baggage cars. Um, we'll see how we go because this guy is not being serviced yet, and he's boarding. Still got baggage to unload. Yeah, we need three baggage cars. So he's, we're happy with the desks, happy with the carousels. Assigned to five of five candidate gates. Yeah, that, that's better. I don't think that causes any delays. No, we all got off on time. Just a little bit later than usual, but that should be solved now. We've got a baggage coming through, we've got a pickup. That's okay, that's good. Like, let's get some seating in. Um, objects, a bench. Let's put a couple of benches in. In here for them. That width is just not what I want, is it? One there, one there, one there, one there. Should just um, alleviate some of the pressure. I'm gonna put some bending in here. Put a drinks machine and a food vending in here. That should solve any problems there. And then uh, that's that's got us in a, good, a pretty good place. Uh, the other thing we said we'd look at today is trying to sort the um, the office block out. So. That is basically trying to build another level on top of this, um, but also trying to connect it to this terminal. Now in the other, I would say, competitor uh, of this game, which is um, Airport CEO, that I think I don't think that's out of um, uh, out of early access yet, but they have created a situation where you can basically build your foundations and join them across a, you can bridge a gap basically quite as pretty much as big as you want now whether that's unique to them i'm not quite sure so we're going to give it a try if it doesn't work it's not the end of the world it just means rather than having our offices up here um we might have to put them above uh, above the terminal here which isn't a problem we've got plenty of space um but i kind of like the idea of having them all in the one block and just having an access um, across a bridge, you know, across a, a walkway or whatever, a gantry, um, or joining the whole thing together would be even better. Um, so let's have a look and see what happens when we try and build a foundation that crosses the gap. Right, so the only error it's giving there is insufficient funds. Now, not an illegal position. 
So we'll see what happens when we've got um, a bit of cash in the morning. So in about an hour, we'll get our payout of 28,000. And we'll see if that allows us to put something in that bridges. Run time on a bit. Obviously, we'll need to upgrade the gates as well. So, at the moment, these gates are only boardable from the ground floor, but you can buy an upgrade for them, which puts in uh, small gate stairs. So, that means they then are accessible from the second floor, um, like uh, any other gate would be. Um, so, all right, we've got plenty of cash there. Let's have a look at this foundation again. So, can I? No, I can't. Cannot bridge that. Okay. No, it's not gonna... It's not gonna play. That's okay. Um, I'm wondering if it's a research thing, or whether it just, whether you just can't do it. Let's have a quick look at the research. Um, drop off operations. It would be under the construction gadget, wouldn't it? So escalators, maintenance allows us to configure maintenance, one way paths uh, for passenger flow, one way taxiways for aircraft flow, runway intersections. No, it's not in there. And there doesn't look to be anything in this lot that would help either, to be honest. Gate control. Advanced security allows using remote security stations. Ability to assign aircraft gates to specific ticketing zones. No. Um, no, it's a shame we can't we can't do that then, but um, that's okay. I'm wondering then if rather than doing that we tweak the road system here and bring it back in to join up here get rid of this because it's not really doing anything I don't think I've seen any cars using these routes um, so we might as well take that oh no there we go we <laughs> I say that the uh, the pickup bus is using that but we can move that down to here for the pickup access um, and maybe even put a second lane um, just to take any pressure off and then use this space to create um, like an area where we can put in a, a bit of seating and then uh, an escalator or a stairwell up to the second level um, yeah I think that's I think that's the way to go in fact I'm sure of it I'm gonna pay down the loan a little bit um, whilst we can that puts our credit well that's back into good which is well good for lack of a better word um i might get the um research underway as well am i doing i'm opening everything apart from what i want credit reporting requires a bit more money lower income tax requires a bit more money um okay yeah let's let's just sort the roadway for now so Road. Uh, rotate that way. Let's bring you to here. Oh my! Roads are expensive. Good lord! I forgot about that. <laughs> hate the fact that delivery track still insists on dropping here despite the fact I cut the zone back. I'm not quite sure how I resolved that unless I throw it back even further. Very annoying. Actually I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dezone this area.
see what that does. So we're at a stage now where we're not going to have huge deliveries and huge storage requirements. We just, you know, be sensible in terms of what we order and when. If worst comes to the worst, I'll put deliveries here. In fact, sod it, there's nothing incoming, I'm going to do that. No zone there. Deliveries. Here. Let's give you some depth. Zone there as well. Put the road around there. Well, for now, actually, I might have to join that up. I don't want any errors. It's a nice big zone, anyway. Okay. Oh, we can afford a bit more road, yay. Uh, road, 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 road. That way and that way. Oh man. Come along. Shouldn't have repaid that loan. Fast forward a bit, I wanna get this um, kind of outlined for you before um, before calling it a day. That's good. So they didn't use this roadway at all. They skipped, he did skip to the new road, which means I can get rid of that, which should mean that gives me some free tarmac. I'm guessing that will go back into storage. Oh no, it's... Um, <gasps> Is it sold when you do that? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it was sold. Okay, well, it still gave me a bit of extra cash. Just need that one, one extra 3,800 bit of road. There we go. Happy days. So now we've got a space here we can build an extension to our office block on. I might put... Yeah, no, I won't. I'm just going to put like a seating area and some vending machines down here and the stairs to the upper level. Um, yeah, and then we'll put the office suite. In fact, we'll go up two floors. Um, we'll have offices on the second level and then on the top level we'll have conference and maybe even a little cafe. because they might get hungry. Vending machines are um, all right, but you know, they're not the be all and end all. So we're, we're just coming into day 30 now. Let's see how we do for day 29's perfect tops when that re refreshes. Um, should have been another spot on day. Looks like the baggage cars are all doing their bit. Everything's run on time with a full complement of passengers today. If anything, they're, they're leaving even earlier than they were before. Yeah, typically about an hour and a half by the look of it. See how this guy does last one of the day. Oh, go back to tomorrow yesterday. That's two out at 1.30 and he's going to leave at... Yeah, just about an hour early with 101 passengers, so we are we are rocking. Okay, perfect top bonus. Yes, 32 and a half thousand. So we'll 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 be back to where we were very soon. Um, P and L for the day yesterday was a loss because of repaying the loan, but what can you do? 
got a quick look at government grants. Um, oh yeah, this is the one about building five stores and two first class lounges. And we'll get the two first class lounges in upstairs. Um, and we've already got a store in. Um, so it won't be the end of the world to, to sort that. In fact, if it counts the cafe as a store as well, we're, we're part of the way there. Airline services, we're leaving until we fix the office space. Investments, we're leaving until we're rich. Airport efficiency. Oh, we have the CTO. We do need to put in that electrical zone and the amplifiers. Um, and maximising profit. We've got the VP. We just need to... Oh, well, we'll take that one. Just need to research lower income tax and pay off the loan. So we'll take that job. There's our uh, 6 a.m. payment. How much have we got left on the loan? Uh, credit report. No, bank loans. 250,000, yeah. Quite a lot. Um, okay. We're not going to fix that one today, I don't think. Um, so what I'm going to do is draw out that base foundation today, and then we'll call it a day. Once we've got enough money to do this, we might already have it, actually. So once we've got 65,000, we can draw that out. And then we know for next episode what we're focusing on, which is to um, sort out the offices. Uh, which I'd hope to get onto today, but it's just taken a little bit longer than I'd like to sort out the baggage system. But next time, definitely fix the office blocks, get our grants moving along, uh, and we'll fix this uh, toilet area here, close this door off, so we have good separation between incoming and outgoing passengers. Not that it's bad at the moment, but you know, the, the more we can do with that, the better. Okay, we have the money, so let's draw this out. And those guys will get to work in a second. So I think that's uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, thank you very much. Um, two streams in one day, I know it's quite a lot, and this one being two hours is a fair bit of viewing for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've seen some, some progress. Um, and uh, yeah, as I say, we should, uh, we should be in a good place going forward so i think um i'm down for another stream tomorrow evening i'm pretty sure i put it in for I know, it's either 6 30 or 7 but do check the twitch page and um, the schedule is on there um uh, and uh i say if you've, uh, if you've watched live thank you very much if you're watching on vod thank you too uh please do feel free to like comment click the bell icon follow whatever button it is depending on what you're watching um, and do please also feel free to leave me some commentary uh, your thoughts on the stream your thoughts on the direction it's going what you'd like to see what you wouldn't like to see um, just to help me shape this in a way that is good for you um, so yeah thanks once again uh, have a great evening and I'll see you soon bye bye